Hey guys, so just wanted to do a quick update today on um, some things that really helped me turn the corner on the line diet and some anecdotal evidence I've, I've sort of witnessed that have helped a lot of other people too um, in terms of really improving their health on this diet. Because um, when a lot of people do eventually reintroduce, reintroduce plant foods, which um, I think uh, is wise to do um, at, at some point, um, that they have a lot of trouble. And I've noticed that certain people that take certain things um, seem to do much better when they reintroduce foods again. So that's why I decided to do, and I have noticed myself turning a big corner, um, taking these supplements. Um, things are going pretty good. Uh, eight months into this diet, um, I, as you know, I had a couple setbacks. Um, you know, I have food poisoning past the kidney stone sort of derailed me from the diet a little bit and I wasn't doing well, but three and a half weeks ago, I decided to go strict line diet with ruminant uh, meat and organs again. And um, I'm feeling a lot, a lot better than I was. Um, and that's despite, you know, having a newborn and the stress of that and, and not getting as much sleep could be, could be very hard on me. But, um, you know, and I'm not saying I don't have my bad days, but um, overall things are pretty good. Um, but uh, I started taking a probiotic. Now, I know you, what you guys are thinking. Oh, God, probiotics, you know. And I, I agree. Probiotics are not good. When you have leaky gut, you could really react to probiotics in terms of increasing your histamine, um, in terms of feeding the bacterial overgrowth. So um, I think probiotics are not good when you, have, when you have leaky gut and gut problems, except for this one. Um, and it's called Megaspore. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of it, but Megaspore is a soil, soil based probiotic. Um, and it actually colonizes in your gut. Um, so it actually survives your stomach acidity intact and it sort of works as an antibiotic to sort of, um, weed out, uh, bacteria where it shouldn't be. So overgrowth and, um, repopulating some of the good guys as well. So, uh, there have been studies on this probiotic and um, I've just noticed anecdotally with, with people I've talked to over the years and with myself, that's worked out really well. So, uh, but you have to start slow. Die-off could be terrible. So you could definitely feel worse before you get better. And that happened to me, especially the first week I started taking it, I felt terrible. But when I turned that corner, I felt way better. Um, so the last week and a half, I've been feeling way better. And my acid reflux is, is, is way better. Um, my skin, my vision, my brain fog, everything else. So that's been huge for me. Um, there's also a uh, colostrum, um, which really helps to feed the good guys and, and repair leaky guts. Um, uh, typically you want to wait a few weeks before you, you start taking that. I just started taking it. Um, so these are like immunoglobulins, which really help regulate your immune system. And, um, you know, other things that you could sort of incorporate later into your protocol would be like glutamine, which is said to be very gut healing, uh, meat broth, which is a little bit lower histamine than bone broth. So, um, it has a ton of glycine in it, which could be super gut healing. So these are sort of the things that really helped me. And then also I, you know, a huge component to this is reducing stress, really work on your mindset using CBT, um, you know, uh, meditating, uh, just incorporating a lot of mindfulness in your daily activities. So, um, there's a lot of things that you guys could do there, um, in, in terms of managing your stress, um, even just getting out, going out for a walk, you know, getting some sun, you know, I started gardening, which is pretty, pretty crazy for me coming from Canada, uh, living in Florida now, November gardening. So, but it's been fun, you know, but just getting in the soil again, sort of, Getting out there, living more uh, a natural life, um, sort of, you know, the way we are intended to live, I believe. Um, but I, I also wanted to tell you guys about a couple, of, a couple of exciting things coming up. So I actually have Sally Norton. Um, you guys can check out her videos on YouTube, but I have Sally Norton coming on the channel. So we're going to do an interview with her. Um, she's a, uh, a nutritionist from Cornell. She also has a master's in public health. From there as well she has a book coming out soon she is a master of nutrition and all things oxalates and gut health so i think you guys could learn a lot from her 
Um, I'm also going to be releasing my blood work in the next few days. So actually tomorrow morning, I'm getting my blood work done. It's going to be uh, cholesterol, a lot of inflammatory markers. And I'm really going to talk about, um, you know, I guess, I guess sort of dispelling the myths of around, uh, you know, red meat and, and cholesterol and all that stuff, which uh, a lot of people are still ignorant on. There's a lot of nonsense out there, propaganda that, that we hear in myths that are sort of constantly being dispelled. But uh, red meat's actually, it's sort of an inverse relationship. And studies have shown this, that um, it actually improves your, your, your cholesterol and your your uh it lowers your 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 risk of heart disease so um and we're going to talk about that in the next video so sally norton november 19th uh going to be following up with my blood work shortly and uh that's it for today so things are going well with the with the line diet eight months in and um i highly suggest everybody try this diet if you want to heal from psychotropic drug withdrawal gut disease or whatever else anyways talk soon thanks guys